Hi guys, this is Irina. Um, today I wanted to talk about anger as a trauma response. I made a video about a week ago and talked about the good side of anger, that um, anger can be a source of uh, energy in our life, it can be a source of creativity, uh, it can give us life force. So. Uh, I kind of talked about how anger is good, so the, the positive uh, side of anger. But of course, anger can also bring a lot of destruction and suffering in our life when it's uncontrolled, um, meaning that it's um, not contained, that we don't have ability to uh, mindfully use it, to consciously use it, this anger. It's sort of like this becomes this force that we cannot control and it takes over. Uh, and later, when we look back on what we did while we were angry, we regret our actions. So, one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why this happens is that uh, anger covers up trauma. So, anger becomes um, a trauma response, meaning that if you uh, have a, had, uh, had experienced trauma in your life, you deep inside there's a lot of pain there's a lot of wounds and you're angry about it uh, and so the anger then gets projected onto those people who trigger those trauma uh, and this all can happen very unconsciously so it's not like we recognize that this is happening a lot of times uh, we just get angry and yell and might not even realize that there's uh, trauma and pain and woundedness underneath so, for, for example, uh, um, uh, for example, in say in a couple, like we will say, like there's a case, uh, um, a husband struggles with anger and he yells frequently at his wife and his kids, um, and he just doesn't seem able to control it. And sometimes he wants to, but just just when something happens, he's triggered and he just yells, and then he blames it on on wife or kids he said you well you made me angry uh, and this is very classic example of a person who doesn't have a internal locus of control right who's very uh outward uh, oriented and blames uh his emotions presence of his emotions onto others and also he uh doesn't really see what's really underneath his anger uh, he, in, if he were to go to therapy and do his work, <laughs> he would be able to see that a lot of times um, what he perceives his wife or kids doing is to probably disrespect him or devalue him in some way. And so that uh, trigger, uh, perception, the trigger is his perception of the experience. And so his... Um, trigger of ex perception of the experience of being devalued, being ignored, being not listened to, being um, not loved, uh, that triggers the wounds of the inner child and pain and uh, anger comes as a, as a rescue response to, um, to avoid that pain, to quickly um, quickly get out of the pain into this uh, outward attack. So you might not even realize that there's pain underneath and, and, and you just be um, really quick in this anger response. Um, and of course, a lot of suffering is created in this family, wife and kids uh, suffer a lot with this kind of person and uh, it will be really, really helpful and uh, healing for the whole family and if, if he was able to or a person like that was able to get uh, therapy and work on his trauma what's underneath the anger and so this would be an example when anger is a trauma response and it doesn't create good uh, life force energy it just creates um, a lot of destruction a lot of um, suffering in the lives And this is it. Hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any examples of this or if you know somebody like this. Happy to hear from you if this was relevant to your life.